Hello everyone and welcome to the viewports and camera tutorial. We start off with a default for viewport layout. So we are able to see that the same model is shown from three parallel and orthographic views and one perspective view. So you have your top, front, right, and the perspective view. To get back to this viewport layout, you can always right click on one of these tabs and select viewport layout and select four viewports. This will always go back to this four viewport layout. Whenever we click within one of these viewports, we can see that the properties window on the right side changes. It's showing the name of the viewport its size in pixels, and the projection type, which if I click on the perspective one, it will show perspective. If I click on the right one, it will so show parallel. Let's stay in perspective for now. It also shows the camera location, which is here, X, Y, and Z coordinates, the lens length, and the target of the camera, which is here. To better visualize this, while in your perspective view, you can hit F6, which will bring up the camera in all your other viewports. This is the camera for your perspective view. So if we zoom out in all your other viewports so you can actually see the camera, and then we go back to your perspective view, as we pan around, you will notice that the camera in the other viewports is changing. You can visualize how what we're looking at is affecting the position of the camera. You can also see that this changes its location in the properties window, as well as the target. You can also modify these things by actually just typing in new dimensions in here. For example, if I would type in, in the Z location, I would type in a higher number, it will lift up the camera even higher, while the target remains the same. If, however, I want to look more forward, I can actually change the target, so I can type in a higher number in here in the Z location. And now I'll slightly pan the camera upwards, cropping out my view. Let's say I want to edit this until I'm happy with my view. I want to be slightly above my boxes. something like this. We can actually save this view. I have this named views tab open, which if I close, you can always bring it up by typing in named view. Right here. And we can use the save button while making sure that the view we want to save is the one active and giving it a name, for example, view one. And now it's saved. Now, if we go back to our viewport and we rotate the camera and we lose the location that we were happy with, we can always double click on the named views to restore it back to our view. So if I pan around again, double click, it will go back to our view. If you double click on the saved view, it will apply it to your current active viewport. So if I have a right elevation active as a viewport and I double click on view, it will apply the perspective view there as well. To go back to the view that I had, I can right click in the tab, go to set view and pick the default right view. And you'll see that the projection will change back to parallel and now it's we're looking at the boxes from the right side again. Another thing you can control using the properties window is the projection type. So right now we have it set as perspective, but if we go to two-point perspective, you'll see that all the verticals are not intersecting. So now we're able to make two-point perspective drawings, which give you some interesting distortions if you look at it from angles that are become quite impossible. Or if we click on the projection type and pick parallel, we can have a more axonometric view of your Rhino model. I'll go back to perspective. You can also control the amount you see in your viewport by controlling the camera lens. 
we have a lens length set right now at 50. If we want to get a wider angle, we can lower the lens length. For example, if we go to 30, you can see that the camera angle is now much wider. And you can notice that as well in the top view. For example, if we select the, the perspective viewport and widen the camera even, no, even more, let's say down to 20, you'll see that the, the width of our what you can see in the camera here shown in the top view of our active camera will change even higher. So now it's at 20, you can see it's much higher. This gives you this distortion that you see right now in the viewport, which will go away as we raise it. But then our camera is able to capture less.